before we get our butterflies moving on the screen, we would like to introduce a little bit of variation in them because currently they're all the same, same size, same proportion. So we're going to use particle creation expressions to give a random scale to each one of the butterflies. If you've never used particle expressions before, I strongly recommend you take a look at the tutorial on Digital Arts Guild, Particles Magic Wand, which gives an introduction to expressions. We're going to be going through this pretty quickly here in this case. I'll select the particles in my view or in the outline or anywhere. Go to the Attribute Editor. I'm hitting Control A. And in the Particle Shape node, I'll collapse some of these. I'm concerned with the per particle attributes down here. Per particle array attributes. What I need to do here is make a custom attribute from scratch and then plug that into the instancer section, which is up here. So in the instancer section, we see a lot of the same controls we saw in the creation dialog. So for example, you'll see there's a pull down for scale. We're going to create a custom attribute and then it will appear in this scale pulldown. So that's what we're up to. So I'll go down to the per particle array attributes and I need to make a dynamic attribute from scratch. So add dynamic attributes general. And this is going to be a custom attribute. So I'll give it a name like custom scale. I do like to override the nice name and put my own nice name in there. It needs to be a vector attribute because this is going to have a scale x, y, and z component to it. And it needs to be a per particle attribute as well. So these are the settings that I have to do to create this custom scale attribute. I've given it a name. It's a vector as a per particle array attribute type. I'll click OK. I should see it appear here. If I don't, I can click the tabs to refresh the view. I'll right click and go into creation expression to create my custom scale attribute. Select the node name and attribute name. I can middle mouse drag it down here. I can use control and the mouse wheel to get in closer on that. And I'll set this equal to a random expression. So remember, this is a vector, so it's going to need two angle brackets to open the vector. And then I'll put in a random function, parenthesis, and then I'll set a minimum value of 0.5, comma, and then a maximum value of 1, and close parenthesis, and then another comma. So that's the x scale. I'll just take that and copy paste that into y and z. So control C or command C, control V, comma, paste again, close with double angle brackets, and finish the line with a semicolon. So I'll create that expression and then go investigate the results. If I rewind and play back now, I don't see any change to the scale because I also have to go now enable it. And that's back up here in Instancer Geometry Replacement. Scale, and you'll see Custom Scale listed. And as soon as I do that, now we've got differently sized instances. Well, so far so good, but if I play this through, every time I rewind, we'll get a different scale. So let me show you this in the top view. It's pretty clear in the top view. So set it to play, and then every time I press rewind, we get a different scale because that creation expression is reevaluated. So we have to put a seed in there. So I'll select the particle once again, back in its shape node attributes, back down in that custom scale expression, I'll right click, go back into the creation expression and put in a seed. So before that line, I'll add another line seed, and then the name of the node, which is this particle shape one, dot, particle ID, capital I, lowercase d, close parenthesis, and another semicolon. Click Edit. 
And every time it plays through and the creation expression is reevaluated, we get the same result for the random scale. Cool. So I'll go back out to my four viewport layout, maybe go back to the perspective view. Outstanding. Now we've got randomly scaled butterflies. So that's a good point for us to save once again. File save scene as butterfly animated 02.ma.